Out of the chair. <laughs> hey. Rude. Very rude. All right, come on. Out of the chair. Out of the chair. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> there. You got the whole bed. All right. Jeez. <laughs> What's up, Night Owls? Welcome back to the Nocturnal Mind YouTube channel. My name is Kaylee, and if you want to know more about Nocturnal Mind and what we do, feel free to click on the link in the description below. Everything has been done before. It's been a great debate between audiences and artists alike. Is the concept of originality dead, or is it merely an endangered species? From my experience, there are two schools of thought on the subject. The first comes from English journalist and author Christopher Booker, who is probably best known for penning the seven basic plots. Now, for those of you who don't know, Booker's argument is that every single story ever told is based off of one of seven basic plots that are merely embellished upon from story to story. And those basic plots are Overcoming the Monster, Rags to Riches, The Quest, Voyage and Return, Comedy, Tragedy, and Rebirth. So basically, from Booker's standpoint, the concept of a completely original work is non-existent. But it's come to my attention that many artists don't like this way of thinking. From their perspective, saying that everything is been done before is only true if you strip away everything that makes a story a story. So the more I began looking at arguments for either side, the more I suddenly began to ask the question, what exactly is the difference between story and plot. Well, from a literary standpoint, story is a sequence of events as told in chronological order, whereas plot is a series of events deliberately arranged for their dramatic effect. I've also heard it explained as story follows events while plot follows causality, or the reasons why these events are occurring. English novelist and essayist E.M. Forster probably explained it clearest through the following example. The king died, and then the queen died is a story. The king died and then the queen died of grief is plot. Now this is where my brain began to complicate things. Because on the one hand, saying story is merely a sequence of events told in chronological order makes it sound like my trip to the grocery store was a story. Which I guess it is? It was a really boring one. But it also makes me think of history. Past events occurred in chronological order. So does history count as a story? I mean, it's right there in the word. Heh, story. Memoirs are definitely considered stories, but where a history lesson and memoirs differ is that a memoir's events are often rearranged or emphasized for their dramatic effect, and they also include a more personalized point of view that provides the hows and whys of the events unfolding, i.e. plot. Now let's go back to my grocery store example. While it is a recollection of events told in chronological order, I showered, brushed my teeth, got dressed, drove to the store, did my shopping, and came back, nothing of importance is happening. And something I've always understood about stories is that they have a purpose. First and foremost, stories are told for the purposes of entertainment. So what if I told you I showered, accidentally brushed my teeth with lotion instead of toothpaste, which made me want to go to the store to buy toothpaste and get some soda to wash out my mouth, it would be a bit more entertaining for the listener. And by our definitions, you could argue that I introduced plot. So is it plot that makes a story? Are Booker's theories sound? <laughs> I just realized his name's Booker. It's like there being an ice cream man named Cone. So at this point, in my little trip down, you're making things way more complicated than they need to be lane, I began to realize that both sides of this little debate I was having with myself excluded the one aspect that I think tops both sequence of events events, and plot. Theme. As opposed to the reason why events occur in a story, theme, to me, is the reason why the story is being told. You could also say it's purpose or meaning. I told you about the lotion and the toothpaste because I thought it might make you laugh. Although that wasn't really that funny. Little Red Riding Hood warns children about trusting strangers. The king died, and then the queen died of grief because true love is that powerful. Why else do they say a picture is worth a thousand words? A picture doesn't have a sequence of events, and technically it doesn't have a plot, but it can demonstrate a deeper meaning, a reason for its existence. 
sense. Even from an anthropologic standpoint, if we go way, way back to when stories first started being told, it's assumed that human beings started telling them in order to make sense of the world around them in order to explain what happens to us when we die, or what those weird pictures we see in our head at night mean. Stories have purpose. And so, in my very long-winded way of doing things, I came to the conclusion that I agree with Booker's critics in that stories are so much more than their plots. But I also agree with Booker in that there is a limitation to how many types of stories can be told. But where he wrote about plots, I think what he really meant was theme. In other words, the seven basic themes are learning to face your demons, finding your potential for greatness. It's not the destination, it's the journey. There's no place like home. Love conquers all, death is inevitable, and experience leads to change. But there's another thing to take into consideration. A story is also its creator. It's a conglomeration of all their hopes, fears, insecurities, goals, and beliefs, all rolled up into a collection of characters and a world that they live in. So really, a story is a combination of all of the above. It's a combination of the artist's perspective, the story's purpose, and the hows and whys of that theme being expressed. So Night Owls, what are your thoughts on Booker's seven basic plots? Do you agree it's a combination of theme, plot, and sequences of events that constitute a story? Or am I just full of it? Thanks for joining us today. Please check out our website in the description below, and let me know in the comments if there are any other commentaries you would like to see. And we'll see you next time.